Well, hello there. This is Moritz from workify.com. Today, as you can see, I'm shooting from inside. I didn't manage to get an outside shot during daylight. And now that the time has changed in Sweden, uh, we set the clocks back to winter time. It actually um, is dark from 4 p.m. on. So it's kind of difficult to get any sun sunlight whatsoever, you know, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> making the most out of it and shooting this video from inside my room. Actually, it gives me that nice uh, halo glow kind of from behind. So you can enjoy that. What I want to talk about today is a pretty straightforward topic or so it seems. But actually a lot of people struggle with getting that really internalized. So what I want to talk about is reps, reps, reps. What does that mean? Well, it simply means that anything you want to become great at and anything you really want to master is coming down to just practicing over and over and over and over and over again. It's all about reps. It's all about doing things over and over again until you finally get it down and this does not take a couple of dozen times, it doesn't take a couple of hundred times, it takes thousands upon thousands of tries. Now the reason why I came up with this topic is um, because I just finished reading uh, the autobiography of Arnold Schwarzenegger and I actually mentioned that before in another video but there's just so many gems in this book that I want to um, get back to this topic of reps, reps, reps. Now, Here's the book, check it out. If you haven't read it, it's really worth it. Arnold has uh, one last chapter in this book, which he calls Arnold's Rules. And in those 10 rules, he kind of describes what made him the success that he became and what really helped him throughout his uh, struggles and challenges in his life. What kind of rules could he distill sort of from his decades of experience. And one of the rules is reps, reps, reps. Now, as somebody who was a professional athlete, that kind of makes intuitive sense, especially as a bodybuilder, it's all about reps. If you want to do your bicep curls or your bench presses or whatever, it's really important to just do a lot of reps and know what kind of sets you want to do and when you want to schedule them. So it really all comes down to reps. Now, what Arnold says here, and I'm going to read that to you, is writing out my goals became second nature, and so did the conviction that there are no shortcuts. It took hundreds or even thousands of repetitions for me to learn to hit a great three quarter back pose, deliver a punchline, dance the tango in true lies, paint a beautiful birthday card, and say, I'll be back just the right way. Now, this to me is really something that you have to really take in and take in just how deep this um, idea of reps, reps, reps goes. Arnold says, okay, whatever he did um, in his different careers, different career paths that he engaged in, um, it all came down to training over and over again. And as I said with the gym, it kind of makes intuitive sense, but he just applied this um, wisdom that he gained from being a professional bodybuilder to other areas of his life where he wanted to become great too. Maybe being a movie star or being a businessman or being a politician. So in all these different areas, he applied the rule of it's all just reps, reps, reps. That's really what it comes down to. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you that too. Um, he just prints a page uh, where he practices or he practiced a speech that he gave to the United Nations. And you can actually see on the top, I hope you can see, the light is kind of making it difficult to see. But here you can see where he kept track of how many times he practiced that one particular speech that he gave to the United Nations in 2007. And 
I actually counted it, it's 55 times. 55 times a guy like Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was so experienced by then in public speaking, in engaging with a large audience, in really making his case, and in 2007 he has already been the governor of California for quite some time, even after all this experience, he still practiced that one speech 55 times. Think about what that means. Think about the dedication that it takes to practice something like that for 55 times. And that's just one speech that he gave on one day. It probably was like an hour long or something. And with everything in his life that was important to his career or to himself, he did that. He just practiced it over and over and over again. Now, what I get out of this is that you should never underestimate the, the work that people who are great at something have to put into becoming that great and staying that great and becoming even greater. If you are a person who wants to be really outstanding at anything, you have to really embody that philosophy of reps, reps, reps. You have to know that this is really all there is. This is all that it comes down to. And on the one hand, it makes life in general and uh, becoming great at anything really simple. I mean, if it's all just practicing over and over and over again, anyone can do it. And that's really the, the positive uh, thing you should get out of that rule that you should uh, take with you. Really anyone can do it as long as you're willing to practice as much as the really great people do. But most people just don't want that. Most people don't do that. Most people give up after a couple of dozens, a couple of hundred sets. Now to really do all the reps that it takes to achieve that level of uh, greatness, that level of expertise, you really have to love, truly love what you're doing. And this is really <laughs> amazing for me to see how this rule of reps, reps, reps um, sort of blends into the rule of you have to find what you love in life. Because you will only be able to do that many reps in really any area if you really, really love what you're doing. I mean, it's so excruciating to do that many reps of anything there is, just practicing over and over and over and over and over again and not making great progress, not having like leaps of progress, but instead just incremental slow progress. Every rep is like, 0.00001% better than the rep before. And, uh, sorry, my battery almost died there, but I fixed it. And if you're not able to really love what you're doing, you will just, there's just no way you get through all these different reps that you have to do, all this uh, sm really slow incremental um, progress. There's really no way you can handle that if you're not truly passionate about the thing you are training in. Now, I really try to incorporate that. I really try to um, do more reps in my life in the areas that I want to improve on. And I also try to keep score, keep track of it, just like Arnold wrote in his book. And actually what you can see behind me, check this out, I doubt you can read it, but I put up basically all over my wall what is important to me in my life and what I love in my life, what I value. So for example, you got family here, you got friends, you got my dating life. So this is kind of like the, the social growth area down here. Then you got reading books, learning, discovering new resources of growth. So this is sort of like the, the mental growth area. Then you got fit, fitness, health, nutrition, and sports up here. And here you got like entrepreneurship, career, success, all the um, professional growth, so to say. So I really 
took the time to take a step back and look at my life from an outside perspective and really think about what matters most to me. What is it that I truly want to become great at? What is it that I want to master? And once I had figured all that out, I actually made a spreadsheet, an Excel sheet, as lame as it sounds, and tried to come up with different exercises in all these different areas and come up with exercises that allow me to do a lot of reps in. So for example, if it's reading books, you can make an Excel sheet and simply write down how many pages you want to read per day. And you have to stick to that number. So for example, you can write down, okay, I want to read 20 pages each day, every single day. And it might not seem like a lot. Actually, a lot of people read a lot more, obviously. But if you just commit to that and you do that every single day from now on, you do rep after rep after rep, then it will amount to something and you will get into that flow, that routine of just reading every single day. And of course, after a while, you can um, increase that number like you should with uh, weight training, for example. You can increase the, the reps or you can increase the weight that you're training with. You can do the same thing with all these other areas of your life as well. You can increase the numbers of pages you want to read. Um, if it's about, I don't know, career, you can increase the, the number of applications you send out every day. Uh, if it's about, you know, dating life, meeting women or guys if you're a girl, you can increase the set number of different people of the different sex that you want to meet every day. So for example, if you want to improve your dating life, um, actually be strategic about it. Figure out how you can increase the, the reps that you're doing in that area. How can you meet more people? How can you meet people more strategically? Where are the best locations to go to to meet these people? What are the best hours to go there? How can you increase the volume of people that you meet? How can you improve uh, throughout these interactions that you're having with different people? How can you improve the feedback? back that you're giving from other people? How can you learn from your mistakes that you're making in meeting other people? So there are all these different facets to just the area of dating, for example. And you can, as I said, do that with every area of your life. And you... so while I was just getting into a rant here, my battery actually died. And that's why I have to reshoot the end now of the video. But I was almost done. I mean, you got my point. My point was simple, do more reps. You gotta go out there and you gotta practice what you love, what you want to improve on over and over and over again. And you can really break down anything that you want to improve on, even if it seems like there's no way you can do strategic reps of that. You can break it down. First, break down what you are passionate about, what you really love, what you really enjoy doing during your life and then find a way to strategically break it down into reps. Something that you can practice over and over again so you strategically become better at something as opposed to just, you know, engaging to feel good about yourself and um, engaging because you feel like you're obligated to do so, but without any clear structure, without any clear purpose, and without any idea really where you're going with that. You gotta know where you're going, and for that you have to do that breakdown that I just explained, and figure out how you can use that rule of reps, 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 to go into a certain direction that you want to go into, as strategically and as dynamically as possible. Keep that in mind and talk to you next time.